YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Urban Minds Inc. representing that positivity and that motivation. Hey, listen, man, I heard you were trying to figure out how to make a budget and how to manage your money. Man, this is a very simple thing that a lot of people don't know how to do today. And I'm going to walk you through the steps that you need to be able to successfully create a budget and stick to it so you can. Uh, accomplish your financial goals and secure your financial future one thing you're gonna need is you can use a calculator for ease um, if you don't want to be doing a whole bunch of math and carrying the ones you can use a calculator you need a piece of paper I'm using a computer to show you um, to capture how I'm doing this but I have Excel opened up and Excel document is a very easy way to keep track and do uh, you can save your monthly budget so what I have here is an Excel app opened up and for I have total income, rent, mortgage, car payment, car insurance, water bill, electric bill, gas for your car, cell phone bill, groceries, total left over. Now once all these expenses are pretty much done, we're looking for the total amount left over and then immediately, which I will cover on in a separate video, um, is about paying yourself first and that comes with taking that leftover balance and determining how much you're going to put into savings. And then what you're left with is entertainment, how much you're going to allocate to entertainment. And then what you have left over, um, you either can put back funnel into savings or uh, you can, you know, use it elsewhere and, and live life. But as long as you are saving, that is the ultimate goal of budgeting, to be able to manage your money um, and to quit living paycheck to paycheck, be able to manage your money and have six months worth of living expenses rolled into your savings. So for this right here, what we're going to do, we're going to do total income we're gonna do thirty five hundred dollars okay okay rent mortgage we're gonna say uh, you have that is seven fifty okay we're gonna keep it nice and simple we're gonna say your car payment three hundred dollars okay nice and easy car insurance uh, ninety bucks all right there we go water bill forty five now I'm just plugging in numbers and estimating electric bill that's usually going to be a little it's going to be about we'll say we'll say 80 80 dollars okay gas for your car uh, if you got a pretty uh, efficient car you're not going to use that much gas so we will roll this up and say a um, hundred and thirty dollars a month for gas okay this is a monthly budget right here uh, let me type that in there so anybody watching this will know that this is a monthly budget okay got that in there moving back uh, cell phone bill we'll say 50 bucks okay 50 bucks groceries how much does it cost one person we will say 300 okay got that total left over now we're gonna move into the calculator so we're gonna take 3500 plug that in minus 750 minus 300 minus 90 minus 45 minus 80 minus 130 for gas for the car minus 50 minus 300 for groceries now this is a pretty flexible budget let's look at it now the total amount we're left over after all bills and expenses are paid we are left with 1750 okay which is a pretty decent amount and I use your income may not be this but put your starting income once you get the check once the money hits your uh, direct deposit uh, into your account what is the number you're starting with and that is the number you in here so we're working with 1750 out of that 1750 um, you know this is a smart I think for the month for a month the average person can survive off of uh, 700 and uh, matter of fact let me correct that that's 755 seventeen hundred fifty five dollars so you know if I was this person and I had this much disposable income what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna immediately immediately drop a thousand into savings to slowly build that up okay to build that fund up now this is something you want to do monthly because like I said you can make a column where this is the current month the next month you can come back because sometimes your bills will fluctuate depending on the time of year your water bill might change your electric bill will change um, you know your grocery bill might change so you want to plug that in uh, monthly to get an accurate estimate and 
like I said, we're gonna move $1,000 um, out of that remaining balance over to savings and that leaves us with, we'll do for entertainment $500, okay? Now once we do that, um, we'll come over to the calculator just to check our math, minus 1,000, okay? Minus 500 equals 255, okay? 255. Okay, now with this 255, at the end of the month, if you do not touch it, then you can roll that back into savings and then have $1,255. And you can just leave this, uh, you know, you can leave this as a cushion. Um, so in case you, for some reason, go over $500, whether it's eating out, movies, um, your Netflix subscriptions, um, buying yourself something. For instance, you go over that, you still have a cushion of $255 and you hit the mark with making sure you paid yourself first. Now, um, let's say for instance, your entertainment is a little bit more. This time, we're gonna put 755 into savings and that leaves, we'll do 800 for entertainment. Now let's break that new balance down and see what we have. Okay, 1755 minus 755 minus 800 equals, okay, you got a $200 cushion. So that's pretty much it. Once you um, round it up, that is pretty much in simple form how you make a monthly budget. So don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, holler back at your boy.